settles and completes the catch. So finally the wicket comes for the Gold Gladiators. They had a long time to judge this one, but it doesn't take away from the brilliance we've seen from this young man, Siobhan Daniel, with his highest T20 score in his career. Yeah, that has been the hallmark of his batting, placing the ball into the gaps. Wasn't the case this time around. It stalled in the air, but a very well judged catch by Dabare. I beg your pardon, Polina Taranga was the fielder, but a great knock from, from a highly talented left hander. Scored 80 for 55, 163 for 1. Straight thing. Sharnaka goes, trying to open the face of the bat, but luckily, from the goal gladiator's point of view, the fielder didn't have to move. Yeah, Anil, unlucky for Sharnaka. A couple of feet here and there. It was a boundary. When you're looking to hit the ball in the air, it has to be away from the fielder. That was neglected, and that's why he's running back to the pavilion. 177 for three now. Four wickets to fall in the last five overs. Make that five, yep. A wicket of the final delivery of the over. Well, it's been a combat of sorts from this Gold Gladiators side. They strike with wickets but they couldn't prevent this target, which is a good one by Dambulora. The end the innings on 178 for five. Yeah, the ball gladiators, they feel they have come out of the jail. They were threatened to concede more than 200 runs by some good balling from uh, the fastballer to Shara Pavid. 